Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in today's video, I'm going to create another craft paper pad, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it in Microsoft Publisher. So we're going to start a new document, create new, and we will make the size. So we're going to do eight and a half by eight and a half, but then we need to add the bleed. So it'll be eight point um, six two five. inches by the same so this is the layout it's going to be exactly the same uh, looks wise as the one that we did in affinity it's just a slightly different way to add the picture I'll be using the same file as I did last time the same gardening images and we're going PNG so there we go that's an image on there now but I want to apply it to the background and then we can delete that so that's taken the image and applied it to the background so it's automatically resized it to the correct size remember that this has the bleed built in so there's no bleed guide around the outside but that is covering the bleed area again we want to add more pages I'll add another page at the beginning that will be the title page that will be the blank page this will be the first image and we need to insert another blank page so technically this is our first image this is the back of the first image page and then we need to just apply more pictures We'll try slightly different images so it doesn't look the same image on each page just slightly different colors and then again we will be doing the same for images and then we will duplicate them all the way through just takes a little bit of time it doesn't th this isn't a, a hard way to do it it's just a slightly different way and before I had affinity publisher um, I did use Microsoft to do them in fact, the steampunk, first steampunk book I did was made in uh, was made in Microsoft. So that's the four images. I'll just put another blank page after. So now I just want to repeat these. As many times as necessary by right clicking on the last page and duplicate one more should do it So that's it. A simple. I will just very quickly add a just a title page. Yep, 
you can make the, this as complex as you like. I'm just going to show you it. Um, for speed, but you can add any sort of ornamentation embellishments around here that you like. And then we need to file, export, create a PDF. I'll just see if it's document one. I forgot to do one very important thing. This is the reason I was showing you the export. You need to go on options, high quality printing, that is fine. Go to print options. And the paper size is going to be publication page. Generally it's set on A4 or whatever your printer is set up to. I'll just change it to gun C P P. And then publish. If we don't change that option in the print options, don't change it to the um, publication size in the paper option, it would just print to A4. So you'd have a lot of wasted white space, and you'll be wondering why KDP will refuse to have it. So this is it in its printed form. This one is a little bit boring to be honest because there's no colour in the background. You solve that just by either either adding a colour to the background or choosing different images. But that's it. I just want to show you that it could be done in Microsoft Publisher. It's almost identical. Just apply the image to the background as opposed to stretching it about. It, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, rather than having to resize everything. So that is it for today's episode, just a short one. Please do subscribe to the channel and like and comment on the videos. It really does help get the channel being seen. I've got some exciting videos coming up. The next one I release, I think, is going to be an actual book that I'm working on now for Valentine's Day. I haven't even uploaded it to KDP yet it's just an exciting book that I just thought of so I thought I'd you know get it get it ready and and show you how to do it so you can get it up early enough to take advantage of the Valentine's Day period thanks for watching and I'll see you next time